Welcome to RVing Today. Wondering about buying a hybrid pickup for a tow vehicle? On our first story, we join Jeff Johnston as he reviews the exciting new Ford F-150 Hybrid, along with the new Surveyor Legend Travel Trailer. Later, Dr. Fitz is joined by Joe Mel from Forest River and explains why, if you're looking for a pet-friendly RV, you may want to consider a toy hauler and shows us the new Wolfpack Surveyor model. Now, all RVs are or should be equipped with safety features, but do you really understand how they work and how to maintain them? Mark Polk from RV Education 101 explains all about these various systems and components. Closed and Spanish captioning where available is sponsored by Forest River. Follow the river. One hundred percent electric vehicles and sophisticated hybrids like this are showing up on dealer lots in record numbers these days. Fortunately for us RV guys, we have definitely not been left behind in the dust. I'm Jeff Johnston for RVing Today, and we are really excited to spend some time behind the wheel of the new Ford Hybrid F-150 pickup. Not only is it electronically and technically highly sophisticated, it also has features that are gonna be very interesting to RVing enthusiasts. Our payload for this trip, courtesy of our friends at George M. Sutton RV in Eugene, Oregon, is a Forest River Surveyor Legend trailer, model 240 BHLE. It's a laminated construction trailer, kind of a higher end product, makes a great match for the F-150 hybrid. And the hybrid F-150 is not only a technological wonder, it looks great as well. Crisp but muscular body lines and well-matched details make this a truck a Ford fan should be proud to drive. It's eye-catching from any angle. Custom wheels and outline white letter tires are part of the optional XLT Sport appearance package. The tightly packed underhood space with 3.5 liter power boost engine includes a variety of mysterious components related to the hybrid drive system. Best to let a professional mechanic work on this rig. Truck bed access is stress free with the optional tailgate step that deploys and stores easily. As truck manufacturers mysteriously keep pushing their beds higher, this type of option is a welcome accessory. You have 7.2 kilowatts of 120 volt AC power available with the optional Pro Power system. Additional plugs and USB ports provide flexible power connections. Even full-size human adults will find the cab fully accommodating. It's cluttered, but after learning the dashboard layout and details, it works great. There's going to be some owner's manual time to understand all of the features. The center console folds open into a convenient surface for project-related writing jobs. The roomy back seat includes a handy underseat storage cubby plus a larger fold-down storage bin for longer or bulkier items. There's a really good reason why the Ford F-150 has been one of the company's best-selling trucks and in fact the best-selling trucks in the country for years and years. It's a great size vehicle. This one rides very well. They handle well, they're easy to drive, uh, easy to get in and out of compared to a larger 250 or 350. And generally speaking, it's just a terrific all-around truck, family use that also serves well for trailer towing and RV use. Now in this case, the hybrid truck uh, has a technology very similar to the Prius with an electric drive and the gas drive that kicks in as well. Um, going up a hill like this, it's quiet, we're able to uh, travel in complete comfort and the steering is fantastic. The instrument cluster, visibility for the gauges and such are really, really good. They're, they're illumi well illuminated and easy to understand. And that's not always the case in some vehicles. You have to kind of get used to them. The hybrid part of the drive is totally invisible to the driver. There's no input needed by the driver to activate anything. 
Uh, the, the data panel on the instrument cluster tells you when you're running on strictly electric and then it, it, that kicks off when the gas starts running as well. That happens pretty quickly uh, as a rule, but it still gives tremendous fuel economy. We were able to squeeze out, oh, 24 to 25 miles per gallon running solo on the highway and around town. Um, towing the trailer, we're, we're down to around 10 miles per gallon, which is pretty much what we expect for this kind of a, of a size of vehicle. When you're towing a 6,500-pound trailer, you're going to lose a little bit of fuel economy no matter what. This truck is terrific when it comes to backing up. It has the optional 360 view cameras, one extra camera each in the rear view mirrors and another one in the, uh, in the logo symbol up on the, the grill. And those three plus the regular backup monitor out back are connected together electronically to give you a, a bird's eye view of the truck while you're backing in addition to the usual back view on the camera. The image that you see here on the uh, the, the in-dash monitor is fantastic. Uh, it's the the best, most comfortable, safest feeling vehicle I've ever backed up. When you're backing a trailer, if you're not particularly comfortable with the idea of backing into a spot, and a lot of people aren't when it comes to RVs, um, this has what they call the Pro Trailer feature and that's a small knob on the dash. When you activate that feature when you're backing up, you use the knob like a steering wheel and it, it helps to, you, you more or less know which way you want the trailer to go so you turn the steering wheel that way and it automatically turns the truck's wheels the correct direction in order to uh, perform that type of backing maneuver. It's really a pretty slick feature if you happen to be at all uncomfortable with the concept of backing a trailer. This is a very comfortable back seat. It's a lot of leg room. Uh, it's a very smooth ride. In fact, it's so smooth that I can finish a couple of my knitting projects. There's some good storage back here. There's some nice uh, cubby holes behind the back seat. Store my slippers in. And there's cup holders. I have everything I need. We'll be right back with more on the F-150 Hybrid and Surveyor Trailer after these commercial messages. So stay tuned to RVing Today. When Bedford launched AquaChem, it didn't take long before it became the number one selling holding tank treatment for over 50 years. Until now. Meet AquaMax, Bedford's new generation of holding tank products that works even better and are also campground friendly and environmentally safe. Looks like a new number one is taking over. For more information, visit Thetford.com. Want more RVing Today? Then visit RVingToday.tv. Besides our weekly show and extended segments, you'll find additional stories and videos along with insightful information on what's new and what's happening around the world in RVing. From luxury RVs to unique camper vans, and from RVing with pets to RVing with kids, you'll find it all and more in RVingToday.tv. Welcome back to RVing Today. We enjoyed looking at the new Ford F-150 hybrid truck, so now we're moving on to its payload, a Forest River Surveyor Legend trailer. It's a winner of an RV combination. Over here on the driver's side of the trailer, you have your usual uh, shore power connection, all the water connections for the city water fill, black tank flush, and there's a cable and satellite TV connection back here as well, plus the sewer outlet, low point drain, and so forth. The slide out, which houses the uh, dinette on the inside, is really nice and deep and that gives plenty of room on the inside, opens it up for floor space. And up here, of course, you have your fresh water fill for the fresh tank and one access to the underbed storage area. Very convenient, plus, of course, the water heater. Out back here, we have a pretty handy addition for those who are space challenged. Pull the two retaining pins. Oh and you have a pretty handy storage spot. 
where you can put all kinds of extra gear you might want to haul along, firewood, bicycles, that sort of thing. And this little door goes to the area where the bunk beds are in back. And you can fold the lower one up and be able to use it for storage for things, a kayak or something along those lines. It's a pretty handy little arrangement. Over here on the passenger side, you have a compartment with a handy slide-out tray that can accommodate the right size little grill for cooking outdoors and a small refrigerator. Very handy for those tailgating sort of events. And the grill for this is elsewhere in the camper. It just hasn't been installed on this demo model yet. In addition to the handy little square scan me device here for people who are into that sort of high tech thing, this rig is also equipped with their Arctic package. And that allows you to camp in, of course, much colder climates. So for snowboarders, skiers, that sort of people, this is a handy little option. Laminated construction makes some nice smooth side walls, well insulated, and has this heavy duty entry steps. We really like this option. 260 pounds, doesn't even budge. Classic little floor plan in a rig this small. We got a Murphy bed up front, sofa that folds over into a sofa bed. Nice sized dinette that makes into a decent bed. It's pretty deep. Lots of room in the floor here because the slide out moves the dinette out. L-shaped kitchen. Very convenient, very practically made. Over here, we've got the control panel with the awning, um, slide room, and various lighting controls, Furion radio, and the GoPower solar charge controller for this, uh, the, uh, the optional um, solar panel on the roof. That's nice to have. Great for people who want to go out boondocking. And up front here, of course, we have a little bit of storage up above. The usual cabinets on the side of the bed. Up front here by the sofa bed, got some handy USB plugs on either side. And the sofa bed can fold down into a traditional bed. Or bring the rest of this down. Flop that guy down. And you have a really nice Murphy bed here. back up, uh, pop the sofa and bed back, and you're ready for the road or for entertaining. Very nicely arrayed kitchen for a smaller trailer, modest sized trailer. Terrific uh, three burner stove with oven, classy looking stove, the sink, the square stainless steel with the high-rise faucet, kind of convenient, like working at home. Microwave and, of course, your uh, overhead overhead light. Decent-sized television, optional, which comes out on an arm. You can aim it at either the dinette or back at the uh, sofa bed. Good-sized double-door refrigerator. That's always handy when you have multiple people along or you're going out longer. And the bunk beds in back, they're kind of like uh, uh, full-size beds, more or less, so they'll accommodate an adult, fairly lightweight one anyway. And the bottom folds up so you can use the back door in the trailer and then move, uh, store things in here. Uh, like I said, long things like kayaks or hang-in bicycles, that sort of thing. And the back corner, of course is the bathroom with your usual stuff in a bathroom toilet sink uh, control panels for monitoring the, the the water levels and that sort of thing lots of room in there looking all around here this is a really nice floor plan very practical nice flow of foot foot traffic access to the uh, dinette and the sofa bed up front and the terrific little uh, uh, bunk beds or bunk beds in back here. 
definitely an interesting option for small families or couples. RVers will likely find the Surveyor Legend 240 BHLE bunkhouse is a fine companion for camping adventures. Abundant safety and convenience features plus excellent drivability and fuel economy make the F-150 an attractive towing option for RV enthusiasts. Match the truck to a right-sized trailer like the Surveyor Legend 26-footer and your RVing adventures are limited only by your imagination. For more information, log on to our website at rvingtoday.tv. At Forest River, we not only build great RVs, we build award-winning RVs. Check out our complete product line at Forest River Inc. Dot com. Forest River. Begin the journey. At Norcole, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norco refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norco RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, Visit our website at norcole.com. Welcome to RVing Today's Pause on Board. I'm Dr. Fitz, and this is Sammy. Also returning to our show today is Joe Mail from Forest River. He's joining us to talk about the great pet-friendly features on this Wolfpack toy hauler behind us. Joe, welcome back to Pause on Board. Thank you for having me. So today we're going to talk about all the pet friendly features that the Wolfpack has to offer. Joe, take it away. Yeah, so this Wolfpack is a fantastic unit if you have a pet and that could be a senior dog, a middle aged dog or a young pup like this guy. Um, to start, you can see on the back there, there are actually two exterior leashes, leash latches. So you could easily take this right here and just loop it through and then bam, you're good to go. And, the, and your pet will be safe and attached to the unit. I don't think they can pull the unit. <laughs> Um, also, we got this huge patio system back here um, that you could easily put a patio ramp from any big box store and it would you would be able to let the dog go up and down if they prefer not to use the entry steps. So talking about the entry steps, if you do have a dog that's not afraid of the entry steps, they are very wide. So you can easily go right up into the unit. And we've talked about that before, that yeah. when you have a dog, like your other dog, that's yeah. maybe a little older, yep. the wide entry steps are really nice to help them get up and down pretty easily. Yes. So that's awesome. Exactly. Yep. So, and then obviously you have your air conditioning system. So when it's hot, it's a little bit chilly today, but if you were to use your air conditioning system, it would mm -hmm. keep the unit cool. So you could keep your pet safe inside if you were to Perfect. go out on a little hiking adventure. Right. Um, if it is colder and you're in a cooler climate, there's, you can heat the unit with your propane. Awesome. Um, and there's Perfect. also an electric fireplace in there. Oh, nice. So they can curl Perfect. up right there and right yes. next to it. Yes, and cuddle. Yep. Awesome. I mean, <laughs> good job. Now, as we move into some of the features on the interior, okay. um, you know, there's some great things. So you got laminated floor throughout the whole thing on the Perfect. interior. Um, and then in the garage, which is one of the best features about a toy hauler with a pet, is there's actually the tough diamond plate floor. So that stuff is meant to have ATVs and toy and, and dirt bikes and right. razors all and all that stuff. fun stuff. <laughs> so I think they could handle a dog. Yeah, for sure. Um, and, but you know, <laughs> dogs get dirty just like the toys. Yep. And so there's actually a hookup in there that you could put a spray port on and it will okay. you can wash all the dirt out. Awesome. So if your dog gets dirty like this guy's gonna get, <laughs> for sure. um, you can get all that dirt right out of there. Perfect, that's convenient. Keep it your is. RV clean, it's yes. good. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the features that I really like when I go camping with a toy hauler is there's actually a drop down screen. Okay. And that screen will, so if it's a warm, in the warmer months when all the mosquitoes are out, the bugs, yeah. and you really don't want them in your toy, in your unit exactly. with you. You can drop that screen down, but you want your dog to be able to experience outdoors still. Cause they right. like to sit and just be outside and listen exactly. to the sounds. Right? Love that. So you can, you can drop this screen down and we'll show you a little bit later. Okay. And you can actually unzip just a part of it, however big your dog is, and then you they can go in and out as they please. And it will cool. really minimize okay. the bugs that can get in and everything like that. Exactly. But your dog yeah. still has indoor outdoor access. They can yep. go out if they want, but yep. no mosquitoes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> we love it. Yep. And there's actually one thing that I missed 
um, on the exterior. Perfect. So right okay. next to the steps over there, there's actually a what we call a spray port station or a shower station okay. with a little okay. shower handle. And if your dog gets real dirty or something like that, you can actually go ahead and just use that and wash them right off. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. And we're, we're going to need that today with some muddy paws. So I yes, love it. That's yes, awesome. Yeah. So that's Perfect. some of the top features that you can get with this wolf pack and many RVs that are on the market today. Well, thanks, Joe, for coming from Forest River to show us the wolf pack toy hauler. Got some great pet friendly features to show today. <laughs> for more information about traveling safely with your pets, visit rvingtoday.tv. Tune in next time for more pet health information. I'm Dr. Fitz, this is Sammy, and this is Joe. Thanks for watching Paws On Board. Want more RVing today? Then visit rvingtoday.tv. Besides our weekly show and extended segments, you'll find additional stories and videos along with insightful information on what's new and what's happening around the world in RVing. From luxury RVs to unique camper vans, and from RVing with pets to RVing with kids, you'll find it all and more in RVingToday.tv. When Bedford launched AquaChem, it didn't take long before it became the number one selling holding tank treatment for over 50 years. Until now. Meet Aquamax, Bedford's new generation of holding tank products that works even better and are also campground friendly and environmentally safe. Looks like a new number one is taking over. For more information, visit Thetford.com. Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101 and I would like to welcome you to RV 101, Understanding Your RV. Today's topic is understanding your RV safety devices. Your RV is equipped with several devices for your personal safety. It's important that you familiarize yourself and others on how these safety features operate. Let's take a closer look. Locate the emergency exit window and make sure you know how to use it. This window is for emergency use only. Caution, keep small children away from the emergency exit. It can be opened easily. New RVs come equipped with a fire extinguisher located near the entry door. In the event you need to use it, remember the word pass, pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the trigger, and sweep back and forth at the base of the fire until it's completely out. Inspect the fire extinguisher before you leave on a camping trip to make sure it's fully charged. Never attempt to put out a large fire with a small fire extinguisher. Get everybody out of the RV safely and dial 911 for assistance. The RV has a smoke alarm that usually operates on a 9 volt battery. Test the smoke alarm for proper operation before each trip. If the smoke alarm starts to chirp at regular intervals, it's time to replace the battery. If the alarm sounds while cooking, ventilate the RV with fresh air until it stops. Do not disconnect the battery. I mentioned earlier that the RV has an LP gas leak detector. LP gas leak detectors are usually hardwired directly to the RV's electrical system and will have a fuse in the distribution panel. A small light will illuminate to let you know the leak detector is operating properly. False alarms can be caused by hairspray, perfume, cleaning solvents, and low battery power. If this happens, fan the area around the leak detector until it clears. If the alarm has a mute button, press it. If the odor is still present, the alarm will activate again after 60 seconds. If the alarm sounds due to low battery power, the auxiliary battery needs to be charged. Carbon monoxide is deadly. New RVs are equipped with carbon monoxide detectors. Test the detector for proper operation before each trip. If you own a used RV and it does not have a carbon monoxide detector, purchase a battery operated model designed for use in RVs. Keep in mind these safety devices have expiration dates. I recommend writing the expiration date on the cover so you know at a glance when it's time to replace it. This is a good start on understanding RV safety. If you'd like to learn more about RV safety or RVs in general, take a minute to visit www.rvonlinetraining.com. Happy camping. For additional information on any of the stories or products seen on this week's show, visit our website at rvingtoday.tv. Don't forget, you can also watch RVing Today on Roku, Amazon Fire, Vimeo, YouTube, 
or any of our station streaming services. This has been another fun production. <laughs>